Welcome back to Persona 3, and I decided that going back into Tartarus alone to grind to level 17 was a very bad idea. So, we're not going to be doing that. Instead, we're heading right back to the dorm. Now... We will need to come back here once more, and that's probably going to be Friday. The reason why Friday is, I learned the hard way in a practice attempt that Elizabeth's requests expire one day before a full moon, and not on the actual day before, well, no, one day before the day before the full moon, and not the actual day before the full moon. So, I need to do the quests by the 6th of this month, and, uh, maybe a little. Doesn't seem to be much that we can do to look into the ghost story. <laughs> well, um, I, well, um, if you're using that expression to mean what you do if you're laughing so hard, then maybe yes. <laughs> Junpei's Believe It or Don't is definitely one of my favourite moments of this game. One of a lot of people's favourite moments of this game. And speaking of great Junpei moments, later in this week, my favourite Junpei line in the entire game is coming up, so look forward to that. And hey, it's Hidetoshi, and incidentally, we are coming to the student council today. Though you actually don't get the option to give him a direct answer. And he's the only one who showed up at lunchtime. We are tired, though. You know what? I'm going to go and get some free medicine from the nurse, but I'll cut that out. So, see you back at the student council room. Oh, okay. Um, Yandere is saying something new. I don't want to know. <laughs> what does I say I haven't? Ah... Yeah, another hint to how you start Mitsuru's social link. Hmm. Why was I say I don't want to know? <laughs> oh, you don't know Gary Stu. Anyway, now cutting. Oh, this time I've got a muscle drink. Okay. So, it's student council time. We don't have a magic persona for this one, but like I've mentioned many times before, you don't need one until rank 7. In vanilla Persona 3, you didn't need a matching persona for Emperor at all. Although, there, the social link schedule was even tighter, so honestly, I'm actually glad about the change. So, we've walked into something already in progress. Also, Chihiro is here. I like how in this social link, kind of similar to Kaz's, Another social link character is involved. So you do see Chihiro have quite a bit of a role in this one. Well, I think that was another reason the president asked us to join the council, but uh, that's beside the point. And this social link rank is a total gimme. There's only one question in it, this one, and it doesn't matter which one you choose. Oh, right. Yeah, that would be pretty bad in a school setting. And if we don't help out, we'll be suspicious. Hidetoshi is kind of a, well... Yeah, you already have a good idea of what kind of person he is by now. Definitely representing the more obvious aspects of the Emperor Arcana.
<laughs> kind of weird to call someone a teacher's pet in a setting where uh, teacher's pets are actually more popular. Or at least people who do well in class. Uh oh, Mitsuru's gonna do some things. When Mitsuru punishes people, bad things happen. You don't want to know. Where have you been? The student council. Actually, interestingly, Mitsuru doesn't show up in the student council social links all that much. Uh, okay then. <sighs> Once again, Akihiko is a chick magnet who doesn't want the attention. The complete opposite of an ego. So yeah, we're still tired. I think you said that before. Um, uh, well, we can't really do any research at the moment. Yeah, we're too busy. <laughs> Says the one who was uh, encouraging the ghost story rumors in the first place. The tenth. Well, that'll be after the full moon. Ah. Oh. Less rain leading to water shortages in the summer. I know all about that being Australian. That happens pretty much all the time here. Or at least it did a few years ago. We actually had what was officially considered a drought a few years back. Didn't really affect us too much living out in the city, but uh, we heard reports of how incredibly bad it was for farmers. That, yeah. Anyway, uh, you know that once I instinctively, by muscle memory, went up here, but if you try and go into karaoke now, it tells you that your courage is not going to get any higher. So at least it does warn you that you're going to be spending money completely for nothing, so I'm glad about that. Anyway, let's go back in here again. And I feel like from now on, I'm actually going to cut out parts of this coffee scene because it just goes on way too long. I don't see why you have to get this increase and then have another loading screen to go back to Polonia Mall and then go back to the dorm. So, they could have just sent you back to the dorm directly. Well, at least it's nowhere near as bad as all the redundant loading screens in Sonic 06. <laughs> oh hey, we need a loading screen for one line of dialogue. So our health sandals have uh, come, and diet food. Also, get ready to be bombarded with calls these next few days, but according to the guide, we can't accept any of them. Sorry. Sometimes you get two people calling in one night as well. And being tired, we're actually going to sleep earlier tonight. Because studying while tired is useless, except to get you even more tired, and we don't need that anymore now with Max Courage. Now, today, I believe, is another Justice Social Link Day. Things are pretty much business as usual until Friday, and that's when the plot starts to get a little bit more interesting. Oh no. Yeah, I don't think she should overdo it. It's always, always hard to sort out the real evidence from rumours. Especially when everyone believes it's a ghost. Though in this case, that could actually be true. In some ways it makes it even harder, if you're the few, uh, the few people who actually know what paranormal events are going on, other people are going to assume that it's um, the wrong paranormal thing, and then it's really hard to sort out the evidence. So, it's... Wait, so let's see if Yukari is saying anything different. 
Yeah, yeah, she's totally not scared. She's totally trying uh, to prove it for other reasons than not wanting to be scared. And speaking of scared, at least your hero is uh, kind of afraid of something a bit more logical. So this time we're going to be helping her with her homework. Don't worry, we don't actually have to answer any questions because that would be torture. <laughs> helping with homework kind of reminded me of a um, someone who did a Let's Play episode 4 and at one point uh, refused to help Nanako with her homework and the comments just completely tore into him for that. That was kind of hilarious. But also shows just how much people care about the characters in these games. Well, technically we were chosen for the job without our consent, but then again it was because of uh, Gary Stu's amazing leadership skills, so in some ways it was a little more fitting. And of course, as this is the case with a lot of social links, we have to deal with jerks. As always, just, I, I, I swear, just about every social link has at least one nameless jerk who just only exists to be a jerk. And once again, more people that are assuming Gary Stu and any girl he's with are dating. Except in Gary Stu's case, it's actually true, in most cases. Now, when I first saw this, I thought this student was talking about Chihiro, but actually they weren't. They're talking about the student next to them. So this is another one of those options that might trip people up who are not used to Japanese culture. Because kissing in public is something that's generally not done in Japan. So how rude is actually the best option here? Although admittedly, those two were going on about, about being quiet in the library and then started talking to each other, so they are still hypocrites anyway. No matter what culture you're from. So, for those wondering why Chihiro uh, is the Justice Arcana, this is why. It's not obvious at first, but... She gets very, very passionate about, about uh, school issues like this. You don't like kissing? <laughs> yeah, I agree, is the one you choose here. And... Yeah, she just shouted in the middle of the library. Uh, Gary Stu's used to people staring at him. And he's probably not going to get picked on. The exact opposite, really. So I had quite a lot of people in the comments assuming that Chihiro was going to be Priestess, uh, which does make sense in a way, but the character who is Priestess when we haven't actually met them yet. We will soon, but not just yet. But I think from this scene it should be a little bit more obvious why she's Justice. There's a lot more to Chihiro than just being shy. You actually can go to the library to study normally, I think I've mentioned this before, but we never do it because it conflicts with our social link schedule. Where have you been? Hitting up some totally hot chicks. And, uh, you're saying the same thing? Okay, okay, it's another installment of Trisha's Who's Who. These, I forget, like, I think there might be some regular schedule to these, but, um, the last one wasn't for quite a while. So today's subject is a 20-year-old lady with a beauty mark near her mouth. 
This is a reference to Maki Sonomura from Persona 1, who also has a minor role in Persona 2. Yeah, being an excellent therapist, that's her role in the second game. I mostly know of her through to the fact that, um, the original translation of Persona 1, uh, the fact that it horribly butchered everyone's names, uh, yeah, it totally ruined a plot point. Wow. Okay, that leads us to the mountain anyway, but looks like there's one of the lost right there. That's really creepy. Didn't notice that before. In four days we'll be able to help them though, thankfully. But yeah, there was a plot point that got completely ruined by them changing all the characters' names. Uh, and because it's Thursday, we can increase our charm in a much faster way than the coffee. And yeah, like I said, get ready to be bombarded with phone calls. For some reason, we're getting a lot at the moment. When going for max social links, if the guy doesn't say to accept a phone call, never accept it. I think it's at a certain rank of each link that you start getting phone calls, though I'm not really sure. There's no penalty for turning them down, though. Aside from certain situations where you want to rig it so that you get a particular phone call later in the week. And thankfully, we don't did not get tired, because I want to go to Tartarus tomorrow night. Yukari's here. I wonder if she's found out something. Yeah, they said that we'd talk about it again on Friday. Sounds fun, I guess. Huh, even Yukari thinks it's going to be fun. That's suspicious. So as you can probably guess, tonight is going to be a plot event. But we still have our regular social duties to attend to before then. But the full moon is coming soon. Unfortunately, uh, we... No, I skipped through a new line of dialogue. Uh, we haven't found any leads on the smoker yet. <laughs> Hidetoshi makes some very, very weird expressions. We're actually not going to be seeing him today, though. Oh, that's weird. Bebe didn't even show up, and we're actually going to be seeing him today. Today's Friday. And we get a plot event here too. Did you two ask around like we said? Huh? We have something planned for today? I know, I know. I'm just kidding. Man, you have such a short temper. Then we'll meet in the lounge after school. Don't forget. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we haven't forgotten. Although I'm not sure why they needed a voice cutscene just for that. That was pretty short. It also kept playing the lunchtime theme. So, it's time for the Temperance Link. So yeah, we don't actually need Niki Mitama yet. In fact, we do need it today, I think. Or not. I keep forgetting which link is which one. Yeah. I actually, I think this is the one where, um... Yeah. Yeah, we don't actually need it now. Also, we get to see him in his summer uniform, uh, in his portrait for once. And we're actually going to be going to the sweet shop now. Also, this is an old mode where you can choose anything. Yeah. 
So if you'll recall when I did the tour of the town ages ago, the sweet shop is on one of those higher levels above the bookstore and, and uh, Wild Duck Burger. This is the first time we've actually been here. <laughs> so, obviously we need to agree with him that Japan is great. <laughs> that was a uh, big boost there. Well, it's at least nice that he's met a friend over here. We've learned about his R's. Other than that, he's pretty much the same as he always is. Temperance is quite a late arcana on the deck. It's surprising that you're able to start the link so early. The levels on it are really not that high. Probably because, like I said, you can't start so early. Also, here's the first instance of what you said mattering here. So he'll always um, use whatever expression you told him was goodbye. So sadly for me, he's not doing Hasta La Vista. And now it's time for that plot event Yukari wanted to remind us of. Okay. As we agreed on Monday, we'll now hold a meeting to discuss what we learned. Wow, you're really into this. <laughs> yeah, this almost feels like a Phoenix Wright scene to me. Of course, I got lots of good info. Just picturing those logic bubbles appearing and connecting all of them. It turns out, no angry ghost was involved. Oh, so that's what's important, huh? <laughs> <laughs> first off, let's talk about how this rumor got started. I, I, my first suspect would be social media. Since the girl was found on school grounds, there's at least one similarity to the ghost story. But, why did the rumor spread so fast if this was the first time anything happened? Uh, again, social media? <laughs> I love these, like, all of these just make no sense in context. Her dying message, the ghost did it, there were three victims. But, um, oddly enough, if we say there were three victims... Correct. That's actually Yukari's reasoning. But yeah, I was surprised when I found out the reason. Over the next few days, there were two more similar incidents. So this has happened multiple times. All three victims had to be hospitalized. No wonder people were talking. Next. The victims are in different classes, and they don't seem to be connected. However, they did have one thing in common. What was it? Okay, what was the one thing they had in common? What is this, a quiz show? <laughs> well, again, to me it feels more like a Phoenix Wright segment. Do you know? Let's see. Which of these three is the most likely? We already know they all went to our school, so what if they all hung out together? Yep, that's right. Not just once or twice, either. They got in with a bad crowd, and were always out late. Huh. It can't be just a coincidence. So, to find out what happened, we're gonna do some field research. Wait a minute, bad crowd! Field research. I don't like where this is going. Field research? Are you kidding? And I don't think Junpei does either. Yeah, there's this one place where the three victims were regulars. Again, I don't like where this is going. Wait, you're not talking about that place behind Port Island Station, are you? I think you can actually go there while traversing the city normally, but there's nothing there for you. But it really doesn't look like a kind of place you want to hang out in. Oh, you're familiar with it. You can't go there. I've heard some nasty rumors about that place. Is that so? Well, then we should all go together. Uh, again, that's uh, that doesn't sound good. You'll come, right? Well... 
only because uh, you will probably die if you go alone. I'll take that as a yes. Forget it. That place is bad news. I mean, don't you think we're getting in over our heads? Up until now, all we've done is take orders. Does that feel right to you? I know what you mean, but... Man, did you have to say it like that? <sighs> Guess I don't have a choice, do I? Okay, we'll go tomorrow night then. So, she says all we've done is take orders, and yet we're taking orders from her now. So, tomorrow night, bad things are gonna happen. Let's prepare our wills. Yeah, it would be great if the, I don't know, trained boxer came along. That would help out a lot. And that's all you're going to say? Okay, then. <laughs> okay, I, like, I like these options. I'm fine. I'm a little freaked out. Junpei's really freaked out. <laughs> He's always freaked out. Except this time, he actually has a reason to be. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound good. Oh, will it help us go into an area populated by thugs? Oh. Probably not. Oh, and this, this, ah, oh, this news report is just so horrible uh, in light of recent events. It's just, ah, oh, I hate it when things like that happen. When something just seems totally normal at the time, and then a future real-life event makes it seem just so much harsher. Anyway, though, we're actually going to go to Tartarus tonight. Because we're going to need all the training we can get if we're going to go into a place populated by thugs. Well, not really. The fact we're about to do in Tartarus is probably the least of our worries compared to what's going to happen on Saturday. But we need to finish off a few things. Namely, one boss and getting the old documents. It won't be a very long expedition into Tartarus. It'll basically just be one boss fight and that's it. But we have to take care of this before the full moon. Otherwise, we're going to lose out on an Elizabeth request permanently. And I don't want to do that. So, see you next time for one more quick foray into Tartarus. Originally, I planned to do it on Sunday because of the... The whole uh, night before the full moon bonus. But if you do that, you will miss out on the Elizabeth request because it expires tomorrow and not, well, Sunday. So, anyway, see you then.